nice. I'll take that out later. Whatever. Let me dangle in there. Oh, no. Work on this. Oh, let me take this part off. Okay, that's out. There we go. So a more detail on our key there. You High have, quality video. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Cable. Unplug. What? <laughs> you don't. <laughs> okay. This isn't coming out. Tearing it apart. Either way. Doesn't matter. Not really, no. All this stuff is, uh. I mean, for us, it's like, uh. completely replaceable if you. if you break stuff. I mean, they're. they're all these components are completely useless. So, yeah, uh. So, they, uh. I'm sure it's not gonna hurt, uh, us or you if you, uh. uh yeah, if you really screw up hardcore here. The motherboard comes out somehow. Oh, and a motherboard is like eighty dollars, by the way. But yeah, you, you don't really need that. So, black screw, take it out. And all these screws, I mean, you can put this whole device like completely yeah, just like back my together. Like I don't you have can, any screws in my there's no right screws now. in three sixty. There, you can completely, you can actually completely put the PSP back together without any screws at all. And it will still work and function normally. Like, okay, so my 360, when I made my video for that, I forgot to put the screws back in. So they're sitting in the baggie at home. But yeah, anyways, this still works fine. Yep. And I guess I'll take this yellow thing off now. That would be the uh, headphone jack. Yeah, no, that's the power thing. Oh, well, where's the headphone jack? The headphone jack was right there. Oh, okay. That's the so we haven't gotten to that yet. And it has a serial thing. So we haven't gotten there yet. Deeper. Once we get there, we get in that deeper stuff. <laughs> deeper inside jokes. Yeah. Really good. I don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, it actually happen. doesn't appear to do anything. I'll it's a uh, hold good. on. That looks completely useless. There's a black clip there, so we can get the R key off now. I didn't see that before. We have the R key. <laughs> As we yes. ventured before. He was that. R key, right there. Haha, <laughs> that's why. Oh, by the way, you can get this off too. Yeah. How do you do this? See, loop. Loop is out. And this. Go through the loop. Now this is a vital part of the, of PSP. the PSP. If you break this, it, the PSP has none of the functionality it had when we started this. If you break this. This is a true story, by the way. When we start, like, if you break this, this part right here, it will do nothing. You die. It, yeah, it, it, the PSP has none of the functionality that we started with. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Maybe you can't get it off. It's supposed Ooh, to Yeah. Oh, here it goes. Here it's it supposed goes. to come off. Here it goes. Are yes. you sure it's not a screw on it or something? I don't think so. We should check. No, there's no screws. Now, I'm careful with that. And... Okay, that's what's up. And somehow... Maybe the motherboard's out. Make sure there's no screws. There are no screws, I've got them. Huh, well... 
Just be careful with it. Not that it won't, you know, not that it matters in any way. It's almost done. Oh, cable. There's more screws in here. Alright, so this is basically the deepest part of the whole PSP. Okay. Now, see, this right here controls the system clock. See. <laughs> Alright, in the. Uh, this is the it, this is a standard connector. You can get um you can actually get a simple cable to plug that still some that port right there to your computer's USB hard drive, and um th that will basically allow you to uh it, it's 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 required for putting like movies and MP3s on it and stuff. There's still it's it's you have to do that if you want to put protected music files on it. Like DRM files have to go through there. Down there by the There's way. a screw down there too. And this comes out. Yeah, I'm completely pro at this. I've done this many times. <laughs> he really has. Now, see, if you change the position of this piece right here, you will have to go in and manually reset the system clock because that right there actually controls the number of minutes to midnight. There's another screw in there somewhere. That, that's... Okay. And, uh... See, this right here is the PSP's flux capacitor. And um, this is the ribbon cable that powers it. So if you break this, the flux capacitor fails to work. And then which you is, won't be able to get to 88 miles an hour anymore. Without the, uh, actually, without, without this ribbon cable, the only basic, you, you lose the functionality of this, which is a very vital piece. And, um... Without that, I mean, you kind of have nothing. Your PSP will do nothing except the functions provided by this add-on. And now, there's two screws in there I have to take out. So this will, this should remove the, uh, the so cover for to, the Blu-ray drive. You have to stretch this out so you can get to it. Be very careful that you put at least 50 uh, psi on this so you can get get close to it. And get those screws out. And there's a there, there's a screw, but it's completely unimportant. See, uh, this this piece right here, we're not gonna worry about today. This black piece, but uh, in most cases, uh, it's actually not possible to get that off. So uh, one would have to um, actually cut that off with a pair of scissors or a knife to get the PSP apart. But uh, we're not gonna go that far today because we really don't have that much time. But. Uh, you know, maybe in another video we'll show you how to hack the flux capacitor or something. And there's screws other places that I can't get to. Like in there. There's a screw right there that's that's notable. It actually does uh that will that holds the L C D screen in place. Okay, I got to that screen now. And that comes out. Once you get this